<laughs> this is a Eurovision song. This is a Eurovision song. Hello, my wonderful royals, and welcome to my YouTube channel, BKP Reacts. And today we are doing the wonderful Angelina Mango for the very, very first time ever. Ever on the channel. Ever in total. In my life, I've never seen anything or heard anything from this woman before. Um, so I'm excited, obviously, uh, to check out a new artist for the very first time. It always excites me. Um, and yeah, I wasn't planning to do this yet because obviously I've only just done LED for the first time. So I thought, yeah, I'll do more LED and I'll do more Annalisa, who obviously I've discovered, I've known now for a few months and I absolutely fell in love with, you know, and I've got a reaction out to Annalisa but because I released a reaction to Annalisa doing San Remo and doing the song for Eurovision and stuff um obviously through that I discovered that Angelina Mango was also on this show um and I thought well what better time <laughs> what better time to introduce myself to Angelina Mango than when she potentially could be about to have a Eurovision song that is kind of the the inspiration for this um I wasn't planning to do it this early I wasn't I I, I had a plan to check out Angelina Mango at some point because she kept popping up on my suggestions for Italian artists. So I thought, yeah, I'll check her out at some point. But I wasn't planning it to be this early. But you know what? It makes sense. It makes sense. She has got a song out for on San Remo, which I think is how you pronounce it. Again, I apologise if it's not. I'm recording this just after I recorded the Annalisa one. So if you've told me in the comments how to pronounce it and I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologise. I've not seen those comments yet. But anyway, <laughs> she's got a song for that called La Lanoi. La Noire. La Noire. Um, and yeah, by the time I get this, and by the time I get this reaction out, the results will probably have been announced already. Because I think I've recorded this on the Saturday, and I think this is the final night of the show. And I'm assuming the results will be announced tonight. So by the time you guys see this reaction, the results might already be out. Whether Angelina Mango's worn, whether Annalisa's worn, whether someone else has worn, I don't know. <laughs> but regardless, I'm doing this today. Um, and it is going to include the song La Noir from uh, San Remo, but also uh, a couple of other songs I've decided on. Uh, so I've picked two out. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's got that much in terms of music videos, unless I'm missing something. I can't find much. So is she quite a new artist in terms of like she's not been around for a long time? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if I, I could be wrong on that. Um, but the ones I've chosen are both quite recent. Uh, there's one from about four to five months ago, which is called Che... I po I'm probably going to slaughter this pronunciation, but I think it's Che... Che to dicho... Che to dicho... Afa. <laughs> I don't... I'm not good at Italian. I've, I've never tried to learn Italian. I'm learning French at the moment. I don't know how close that is to Italian, probably not very. Um, so, you know, bear with me. It's it's not, you know, it's probably, I've probably pronounced it very wrong. But yeah, that one. And uh, the other one came out seven to eight months ago, and that's called uh, Ci Pensiamo Domani. Ci Pensiamo Domani. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, but those two are the ones I'm doing. Um, not for any particular reason, just because they seem to be the most popular in terms of views and things. So I thought, yeah, we'll do them. So that is the plan. Uh, if you're new here, hello. If you're an Angelina Mango fan, um, then welcome. Uh, please do drop some information in the comments and stuff. Um, I'd love to find out more about this lady. I know nothing about her at all, uh, other than that she's on this show. So please do um, let me know more information on her. Um, and her history and all that good stuff. That would be fantastic. If you are interested in other Italian artists, uh, such as Annalisa or Elodie, I have got reactions to those two. Annalisa especially, I've got a few out now, including a recent reaction that should be out by now to the her Eurovision song, Sin Sedimente. So please do check that out. And it also includes the incredible Sweet Dreams cover <laughs> that she did as well. So please do check that out, those out um, if you're a fan of her. And like I say, LED, I've just reacted to for the first time as well. So check those out. That would be wonderful. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment. And of course, subscribe to my lovely self, join the royal family. Become a royal yourself. That would be fantastic if you're a fan of Italian music. I am going to be doing more. <laughs> 100%. The artists that I've already checked out, I'll be doing more of. And 
other new artists as well that you guys suggest so please do stick around that would be incredible but with all that being said we are just going to get straight into this thing because i am ready to dive into a brand new artist today it is angelina mango time let's do this so this is the wonderful angelina mango with uh lanoir lanoir i think is how you say that lanoir which is her san remo uh song her potential eurovision song like I say, by the, the time you watch this, it may have already been revealed that it is a Eurovision song. I don't know. Well, this is that. Um, I know there's an official video to this. I have gone with the live performance like I did with Annalisa, just because I like to see these artists live and it's fun to see it on the actual show. This is Angelina Mango for the first time. Let's do it. I'm excited. Pre pretty much never seen this woman do anything before in my life so <laughs> this is a very much a first time mi volgo qui il liquato nessuno prende vita questa pagina è pigra vado di fretta e mi hanno detto che la vita è preziosa mi hanno fatto stare una sola colma la mia collana non ha perle di saggezza a me hanno dato le perline colorate per le prime incasinate con i traumi da snodare il piano oh I love that rapid fire Oh, 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 oh. oh, I like her voice. Again, it's a solid vocalist. <laughs> this is a Eurovision song. This is a Eurovision song. Oh, yes. I love like that sort of like rappy type. Those rappy type ver most verses. But she's also got such a stunning voice as well to match that. This song is great. This song would rock your own. Oh, they would like this. Again, she's got that like stage presence about her as well. She's got that like, kind of cool quality. Very different presence to what Annalisa has, but no less powerful. Like it's just, there's something really cool about her. Like she gives off just that really cool vibe and it helps that this song is kind of, just has that really sexy, sensual, cool vibe to it, which I really enjoy. Like she's really, uh, delivering that through her performance um, like I say those verses are really smooth I really love when she goes all like the fast talking almost rapping style I, I just really like that and again it's this part that thing that I've been saying about these Italian artists like the Italian language just works so well to music it sounds so good when it's put to music and like this kind of fast really fast um, like I say almost rapping kind of style really works for the for, in Italian, like it just flows so well. Um, I just love the way it sounds like these kind of those kind of it's language, like Italian, Spanish, those kind of languages just have that natural flow to them that just sounds so good. Um, and so put to music, it just sounds glorious. <laughs> I just I, I absolutely adore it. Um, her voice is wonderful, I really like her voice. It seems like, isn't it, is it just like a thing in Italy to have a good voice? Is that just like expected for because i feel like in, in terms of the music realm in general there's not necessarily as much of a need to have strong vocals as there once was um and yet from what i've experienced of italian music so far that seems to be very much a thing of like yeah if, if you're singing if you're one of our top artists you will have a good voice you will be a good vocalist um, I don't know if that's the same across the board, probably not, very possibly not, but um, 
these all these Italian singers I'm checking out so far just have really stunning voices. Um, oh, right, <laughs> continue, continue. I can't. <laughs> She's so cool. says La Noia. it's not La Noire, which is what I was saying, it's La Noia. <laughs> yeah. I knew I'd be pronouncing this stuff wrong. She's awesome, I like her. I had a feeling I'd like her, I just, uh, yeah. Because again, you guys have been suggesting her in my comments and stuff, and I... I know she trusts you now <laughs> after that Elodie reaction when you're like, oh, react to Elodie, do Elodie. Elodie. Um, I checked her out. She's wonderful. And I just had a feeling. I thought, yeah, I can trust you guys. And you've you've steered me well once again uh, with this one. Uh, I really like that. <laughs> I really like the song and everything. I can absolutely imagine this song on a Eurovision stage. I am a huge Eurovision fan. I mentioned this in my Annalisa reaction that I did. Um I'm a massive Eurovision fan. I watch it every year. I'm obsessed with it. Like it's to be honest, it's a wonder that I've not dived into more European music before now, just because of my love of Eurovision. Like I've checked out certain songs, like certain songs that I really like during Eurovision. I've then had on my Spotify and stuff. So I have obviously checked out European songs and stuff, but um, for the most part, I haven't dived into that world until recently. But I have been a massive Eurovision fan for years. Uh, it's one of my highlights of the year. <laughs> I love watching it. Um, so yeah, I like I've been. I was saying on my previous reaction, like the the thought of seeing an artist that I already know and I am already enamoured with on Eurovision is exciting to me. It's really exciting to me. So the thought of Annalisa winning, or you know, if I get to know and, and love Angelina Mango, the thought of Angelina Mango winning is just exciting to me. Um, but yeah, this I really like the song. I can absolutely imagine this on the Eurovision stage. It it would work really well. Again, by the time you watch this, it's probably already decided. <laughs> so you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but whether she's won or not, this is a wonderful song um, and a wonderful performance. Hello, everyone. Um, this is probably unexpected to all of you uh, that I've randomly switched to this. Um, we will return to the reaction soon enough, but I did want to give a quick update. Uh, we are now on Saturday, well, Sunday morning um, of the following day. I have managed to find uh, a way to watch San Remo, um, the final of the competition. So I have watched it. <laughs> so and I thought I'd do a little video, uh, a very short one just to kind of reflect on what I've just seen it is late right now. It's like half one, two o'clock in the morning in the UK. I'm quite tired. I need to sleep. But I just want to say, A, it's a shame that Annalisa lost because I was rooting for her, of course. But, but <laughs> on the other hand, huge, huge congrats to Angelina Mango, uh, who has won San Demo and will ho hopefully be uh, going to Eurovision, taking La Noia with her, which is a, just a wonderful, fantastic song. I'm, I'm excited to hear that song at Eurovision. I think it's going to do really, really well at Eurovision. I cannot wait for it. Um, and it made me so glad that I did the reaction to Angelina on the day of the final <laughs> beforehand. So I already knew her going in. I already knew the song and everything. Um, and now I'm I'm over the moon that she's won, uh, despite Annalisa losing, who I, of course, was rooting for originally. But you know what? Angelina killed it. She deserves it. I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Eurovision. Angelina Mango. Let's go. Back to the reaction. 
Right. <laughs> oh. There's just too much. It's like I always end up in these in these rabbit holes. I find a new type of music and then I end up you know a new a new country to dive into in terms of musically and I end up in this at this precipice of this big rabbit hole and I can't help but just die straight in every time. And I'm doing it again. Right. Uh So yeah, this is uh <laughs> the next one. So I'm gonna go in order, most recent, I think. So we're gonna do- Want to do... spend more time keeping track of the little things? Shopify- Shopify, you're interrupting me, mate. Can you leave me alone for a minute? Order and inventory. Right, this is, uh, again, I don't know how to say this. I almost don't want to say the title because I don't want to slaughter the pronunciation, but <laughs> Cheto Dicho, Cheto Dicho, Dicho? Is that how I would say that? Surely not Dico. Maybe. Cheto dicho afa. Af. Hopefully she'll sing it in the song and I'll know from that point. But we'll, we'll see. This is um, that song. Uh, there's no English subtitles. I apologise for that on these songs. Because I know some of you guys in my previous reactions have been saying put the subtitles on. Normally I avoid it if it's auto-generated because they tend to be wrong in my experience. This one doesn't even doesn't even have English subtitles at all, so I apologise for that. Um, I'd love to know what the song. I always look up the lyrics afterwards to try and find out uh, what the song meaning is and stuff like that. But yeah, I haven't got a choice in this one. Uh, this is Angelina Mango once again from a few months ago. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Play. Thank you. I think my internet's been funny. I'm intrigued to know if her style of music is similar to what we just heard, or... <laughs> this is already beautifully European. The best possible. What? <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mate, we have a winner again. <laughs> I really like her. She's like... The way her personality is coming out. Oh, this sounds so good! Again! Oh! I love that dancing as well. Why is it not pausing for me? Right, hold up, Angelina. Wait. I need to see that bit again. <laughs> she hits them. Was that scripted? I feel like that might be one of those moments that was accidental and they just left it in. I don't know, maybe not, but I don't, it looked like it was accidental. Um, 
I love this. I love this. That whole bit just then when she went really like soft with her vocals and things and it kind of slowed it down. I really like that. Love the way that sounded. And she has that. There's something really infectious about her. Um, that's really coming across so well in this video. Like just her personality and stuff is really coming through, shining through. Like she seems like someone I'd want to know want to be kind of like friends with <laughs> you know what i mean like it has that uh i don't know how to explain it like a really sort of welcoming quality to it like i just her personality is kind of infectious to me which is watching her in this just the way it gives us that like, kind of like, she, like again she comes across as really cool and stuff really like she's kind of given us these little moments of i don't know if i'd say goofiness but like a, a That more kind of, <laughs> again, I really don't know how to explain it. But those moments where she, again, like she'll she'll do something silly or she'll do something, you know, and it kind of gives you that. When you see those moments in these videos, it makes them more, it makes them feel more real, these artists. It makes them feel like real people, it? which is always nice because it makes them seem more, I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know what the expression is. I can't, my, my words aren't coming out at the moment. I apologise. Um, yeah, the point is she's doing a great job. <laughs> the point is she's doing a great job um, with the way she's performing this in the music video. The song itself, I absolutely adore. I absolutely adore this. Um, but I think the, the video adds to it as well um, in the way that she's performing and stuff. All the dancing and everything. It's just so good. So good. At this moment here, I need to see again. <laughs> I love this bit. Love this bit. Sounds so good. <laughs> it's just that I adore that bit. I adore it. Oh. <laughs> oh guys, guys. I found another one. I found another one. Here we go again. Down the rabbit hole. Oh. I cannot. <laughs> it's so good. And I love this song. <laughs> There's just something really quirky about it, the way she is. I don't know, she's got that kind of quirkiness to her. I just like just her vibe. Her vibe is, and her, her, you know, is, is so infectious. Um, I, just, I, I just like. I, I'm one of those people, right? And, you know, because I sometimes get this on YouTube. I sometimes get people, you know, and even on my Discord and stuff like that, it's always like a running joke that I like everything. And people are like, oh, you never say anything bad. No, you, you're really positive all the time. You like everything. Um, Which obviously then inevitably leads to people saying, oh, he's like, is it overact overreacting? And is he's doing, is he's false and fake and all this. It's like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just very open and very... Um, varied in my taste um, and I tend to always look for the good in things and, and so oftentimes that leads to me liking more stuff like it doesn't take mu that much really for me to like something um, and even if I'm not as fond of it I'll always find something that I like in it to pull me back and stuff like so and that's a wonderful thing. I love being that way. I love being so open. And it's the same with anything, whether it be music, films, TV shows, games, anything that I do in my life. I always love loads of it. <laughs> like I'm always really positive about things compared to others. Um, 
And to me, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I love being that way because it means that I get to enjoy more stuff. And I find it a wonderful thing that I, that I, that I have that sensibility about me. It is also a curse. <laughs> it's also a curse. And it's because of times like this where I just find artists upon artists upon artists who I absolutely adore. And suddenly I'm in this place where I'm down this rabbit hole with all these different artists and stuff. And they're all filling my head and I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. And I've, done it. I've got another one. I found another one. She's wonderful. She's a queen. I already love her to bits. I think she's just got that, again, really infectious... Uh, personality that and, and vibe that I just really I'm drawn to I'm really drawn to what she's doing um on top of that the song's wonderful I thought her vocals were incredible in this I really enjoy her voice and everything the different things she does with her voice and different parts of the song um I really enjoy I, I'm here for it man I'm here for it um <laughs> god damn right that uh, I'm gonna move on to the next one uh, I think this was the first one I saw being suggested on my YouTube when I was getting into like Annalisa and stuff, Angelina Mango came up and this was the song I think that came up. Yeah, so this is Si, si Pensiamo Domani, which again, I hope is how you pronounce that. Um, yeah, this is that. This came out seven to eight months ago. When exactly was it? Is there a date attached to it? June 2023. So in theory, possibly very much a summer song. Although I'd argue that last one was quite summery. <laughs> that one, that was not released in summer, I don't think. So, we'll see. We will see. Um, but this is, this is that song. <laughs> I already love this. Already love this. Already love this. I really like her, I, I just love her whole aura, it's just awesome. She sounds so good. I, again, the voice. Again, I really like the song. Really like the song. Look at this. Oh. Mate, I just... I, uh, I like the fact that this gives us a more kind of down-to-earth feel about her whereas the the next the, the previous one's a bit more bombastic like it feels more like yeah this is a star whereas this one feels more down to earth it feels like an earlier version of her which i know it's only a few months before so presumably it's not that it's not it's not that far removed but like just in terms of the vibe she gives me this feels more like and again, I don't know how new she is in terms of an artist, but this this gives me more of that vibe of like new artists starting out. She's got that kind of girl next door quality that um, again, really kind of 
that quality that just warms you to her that, that just as a person just she seems very like down to earth and stuff in this and that's the vibe i'm getting i don't know if it's <laughs> just me i don't know but um that's kind of the vibe i'm getting whereas the next one is more like yeah this is me as as the star angelina mango i don't but both of them are really well done i really love the song here the song is really nice very different to the previous two but i love the vibe of it and everything and again her voice just shines i d Oh, it sounds so good, guys. Guys, where have I been? Yes, 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 people. Yes, you know what absolute, you know, you know what kills me? You know what absolutely kills me, right? The fact that I could have at any point, like five years ago, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, whatever, whatever it may be, I could have at any point during that time gone, you know what I'm going to do today? You know what I'm going to do at this very moment? I'm going to get on YouTube and I'm going to search Italian music and see what happens. I could have done that at any point, but I didn't. And that kills me. Because now <laughs> I'm, I'm at the point where I'm discovering all these wonderful artists that I didn't know existed. Um, and I could have done it so long ago. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's painful to me. Absolutely painful to me because they're so good. They're so good continuously. Is it safe to say, right? And this is very, this is me being very biased because I don't, I literally only know these three at this point. Angelina Mango, Annalisa, Elodie, the Trinity. The trinity of Italian music. The trinity of female Italian music. Is is that... Can we say that? Is that a thing? I don't know. It's a thing for me, but that's because I only know these three. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it's just me, but... Ah. Oh, she's wonderful. I love all three of these songs. And that's a testament. And I'm sure over time, obviously, I'll grow to, to love more some more than others. But at this point, I just think all three of them are wonderful. And again, she's absolutely stole me. And I'd be, you know, as much as I'm obviously rooting for Annalisa at Eurovision, for Eurovision, because she's someone that I've adored now for months. Um, so obviously I'm rooting for Annalisa. But at the same time, if Angelina Mango wins, I'll be happy with that song. And having discovered who she is now, to a degree, like, she excites me. She really does. I think she's she's great. Like, the stuff she's putting out is really good. Um, I'd, I'm excited to check out more songs from her. I'm assuming she's got albums out and stuff. There is a an official video for a song called Formica. Formica? Formica. From a couple of years back. That's got a lot less views, though. So I don't know if that's maybe when she was, like, just starting out. I don't know. Um... I'm excited, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, like I say, you guys, please do get in the comments, let me know more um, about her. I'm gonna subscribe to her channel right now on YouTube. Please do uh, let me know, yeah, more stuff about her in the comments below, um, any information that you think is relevant. Um, if she has, if she, by the time you watch this, if she has booked her place in Eurovision, then by all means talk about that in the comments as well. And of course, guys, as always, with new artists and stuff, suggest stuff in the comments if there's any other songs I should be checking out, any other performances, things like that, that you think, yeah, he should he should see this. Offer it to me in the comments by all means and keep suggesting other Italian artists that I can check out or indeed artists of any nationality that you think I should be checking out. Um, do that in the comments, that'll be fantastic. And I'll see you next time, guys, for the next one. Sending gay, I love you all. Goodbye.